What is up, YouTube? Um, currently wedged between kind of two rocks um, by the lake. It's been a while since I picked up the camera and kind of vlogged. Um, what was my last video? I think my last video was like three weeks ago. I think, yeah, three weeks ago. Two, almost a month ago, I think, my last, I uploaded my last video. I think last time I ever recorded a vlog was even longer back because I'm kind of delayed with uploading. Um, but a lot has kind of happened since the last time I uploaded a video or recorded. Um, for like the few people that watch my videos, they know that they're usually fun, exciting things. And I'm currently very self-conscious about people around me, even though I shouldn't be because I'm supposedly a vlogger. But um, for people that watch my videos, they know it's very kind of fun-filled and adventurous kind of thing. But this one is going to be a little bit, you know, low-key, a little bit more serious because this video is kind of more so for me than it is for the audience, I think. But it is also for the audience because I think this video is also to help um, could be could be used to help anyone, but I think um, especially for like people who are planning on doing what I'm trying to do or um, currently doing what I'm trying to do and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, yeah, let, letting them know that they're kind of not alone through this process because yeah, and I think yeah. So today is August. 6th 2021 the day i'm recording this and i think the day i'll also upload this and tomorrow august 7th is my first attempt at the mcat medical college admissions test um and everyone knows that i'm trying to eventually get into med school and be a doctor like all my friends know um and i just wanted to like kind of say that this past summer has been you know behind the scenes has been rough and you know some people know some people don't know and some even the people who know don't know everything because i don't obviously share a lot and i think because i don't like to kind of bring my problems in front of people i don't like to make things all about me but i thought since this is my channel i can make this all about me because this is my channel and also because i think it's good for future me to see that you know, to see what I'm going through presently and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, anyone to know that what I'm going through is also probably what you're going to go through or what you're going through now. And it's all right. It, it kind of happens, you know. Um, so these are my kind of thoughts. So these are my thoughts, my final thoughts before writing the biggest test of my life currently. Um... Every time people ask me, are you ready? How do you feel? I always kind of lie and say, oh yeah, I think I'm ready. Um, I don't know, honestly, if I'm ready or not. Um, I feel like I could have done a lot more and I think that's definitely, you know, my issue that I kind of tried to escape myself or escape from the stresses that I had and um, because of that it formed new stresses and all that kind of stuff and I think that messed with a lot of my stuff and there's a bee there and I'm very scared of bees and I don't like it okay it's gone I think um okay so I think I tried to I guess push it to the side and be like it's all right I'll deal with it eventually I'll deal with it eventually of course, I'm not saying, I know this sounds like I, like, I'm making this sound like I didn't study at all. Of course, I studied a lot. I even studied these back, but I even studied, like, last year, right? A year before I'm actually taking the test, I studied last year. And, I don't know, I still feel like I could have done a lot, a lot more. I could have been more efficient. I could have, I don't know. I think that's just my mentality ever since. I don't know, for some time now, I've been kind of off and 
I'm just trying to figure out how to get that mentality back and I don't know if you'll be able to hear me with all the waves but yeah it's just kind of me trying to get my mentality back because I think I've just fallen off and I'm trying to pull myself together and you know I think yeah and like the thing is with the MCAT right is like life doesn't stop when you're studying for it life doesn't stop when you're about to write it life doesn't stop ever so you know while i'm reading my books i got stuff going on in here and i got stuff going on in here right that don't really no one's here that don't really help with my overall preparation and i think that's just kind of a learning thing because sometimes you gotta realize that you know life doesn't stop and i think that's the biggest thing that the MCAT kind of teaches kind of teaches you because while there's like stuff that you need to know and everything it's all about your life because as a doctor right you have a huge responsibility but even with that huge responsibility you have many other responsibilities and many other things that you have to make sure stay okay because you know even with that big responsibility you call a profession life doesn't stop and i think that's the biggest thing that you have to know you have to know what when to balance life and your profession and all that kind of thing and yeah a lot of people don't know but i've had a lot of stuff going on that i've never shared i've had my ups and downs especially this month this last couple of weeks month has been really really hard because I have just let my personal life fall apart in some circumstances because I've let my stress for this test, you know, just kind of grow to a point where it's taken over a lot of things and I've pushed it back and let it hide. And because I said, I don't like to bring my burdens onto other people. And you know, that's why I talk to a camera sometimes. But some people know that I talk to camera when I'm a little upset because I don't know, I find that a little therapeutic and I think I know I'm definitely not gonna stop, right? Because good, bad or ugly, whatever the outcome is of the test, whether it's good, whether it's bad, whether it's ugly, there's a learning that comes from it. And I think the important thing is that I'll I can keep failing, right? If I don't take that learning seriously and I think even if I do well and I don't take a learning from that from tomorrow I'm still gonna fail at some other aspects of life and I think even before writing it I've taken a lot of learnings because a lot of things have happened this past month which I definitely messed up and I feel responsible for um, and a lot of people will probably tell me otherwise but you know it's all because I let that aspect of me overcome myself. And I don't know if this makes any sense, but I don't even think this will make sense in 10 years down the road if I ever decide to watch this again. But basically what I'm trying to say is that anyone who's going to write a big test, whether that be the MCAT or whatever else it is out there, um, but people who are writing the MCAT, whether it's same time as me, whether it's beginning next year, a few months down the road, or whether it's in a few years down the line. Whatever shit you're going through, right? You will have your ups, you will have your downs. And that's okay. I didn't know. I, I didn't know that I'll have my ups. I didn't know I'd have my downs. You can never predict when you're gonna have an up, when you're gonna have a down. It just kind of hits you. And that's kind of what life is. Life is gonna slap you, push you down. And it's your job to kind of get back up. And no one else, I know a lot of people can help you back get back up, but ultimately, if you don't want to get back up, it doesn't matter what everyone everyone else does to try and help you or support you. If you don't want to get back up, then you won't get back up. And I think um, that's a big part of this test, and that's what kind of differentiates who wants to become a doctor and who kind of quits after the first or second try because life like the MCAT, life will slap you down, or yeah, will slap or push you down. And if you, you know, 
don't take a learning from it and you know don't keep pushing yourself to do better in a lot of ways right not just academically then you're just gonna kind of fall and stay down i don't know if this is making any sense at all but yeah hopefully after tomorrow i'll at least be able to kind of focus on fixing the mistakes i made in my personal life even though i kind of have fixed them it's just internally i need to accept some things and you know you know accept my wrongdoings and then learn from them and all that kind of all that kind of stuff because you know, i've definitely let i've definitely lost sight of my personal life and lost sight of who i am sometimes and there's definitely a learning from that that i'm going to you know work through but yeah i think i've rambled on i don't know if this makes any sense but i just like to say good luck to me tomorrow um you've done what you could whether that been whether that have been your best your average amount of workload or nothing at all go in there give it every ounce of energy every ounce of effort that you got whatever the outcome may be you know that if you get pushed down you're meant to be a future doctor you're meant to be a doctor and take the learning take tomorrow's experience come back even stronger for the second try if you have to um and yeah um yeah good luck to anyone else who's doing a big test um to anyone that i have neglected or hurt in the past three months um i once again i'd like to say i'm sorry because this whole thing has been a very learning experience and for the people who have survived with me throughout this time i'd like to say thank you and um thanks for having my back thanks for supporting me thanks for pushing me throughout whatever and after tomorrow we celebrate we celebrate all right, this has been your boy, Iron Kapoor, by a lake, talking on a camera. There are a lot of old people looking at me. Um, but I'll catch you guys in the next video.